I've been in combat. I've seen horrible, horrible stuff. Mm -hmm. I felt like I was in a combat zone. And that's how a Hope County woman described a vicious dog attack that left several of her farm, her neighbor's farm animals dead. That was back in March. And now for the fourth time in just a few months, those dogs have struck again. Four times. And within the last hour, we heard from county leaders about how they plan to deal with this. CBS 17's Colleen Quigley shows us that's something people have been demanding for months. Barry's farm. These are some of the animals that were injured. She's worried not only for them, but if these attacks continue, she's worried for herself and her neighbor's safety. Robin Barry didn't always fear roaming around on her 25 acre farm. I've been here for 22 and a half years, and we never had this problem until this past year. As you can see, I, I now carry my gun everywhere I go out here on my property. I, I fear for my kid. But for the fourth time in recent weeks, over here, this was all ripped open. A pack of dogs attacked livestock in her neighborhood. Today it was an animal. Tomorrow it could be you, me, or a child that gets maimed or killed. So these animals need to be taken off the street. Last August, dogs killed several of Robin's goats. So there went our whole business. Wednesday morning, her farm was hit again. Eight goats were injured. Unfortunately, there were two that were so severely injured that I had to shoot them and put them down. And they were born on my farm and I had to kill them. Our cameras were rolling last month when Robin took her concerns to Hoke County commissioners, asking for more money and manpower allocated to animal control. Robin says commissioners have listened and formed a task force to look at county pet ordinances. They met last night. Robin says it's not enough. She believes the dogs responsible for the attacks are someone's pets. They just look too healthy uh, and too well fed. And, you know, obviously if they weren't well fed, they would have stayed and had breakfast. But, you know, they weren't. They, they came for the sport of killing. Now they want to see those pet owners held accountable. Calling Quigley, CBS 17 News.